Hi, my name is Dr. Antonio Webb. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon here in San Antonio, Texas. If you have been told that you need neck or low back spine surgery, I would strongly suggest come into my office for a second opinion. Before undergoing any type of procedure, you as a patient should feel comfortable, you should have trust, and also you should have confidence in your surgeon that he or she will be able to deliver results based off of your spine care needs. I'm a very conservative spine surgeon. Most patients that come to see me are able to be treated with conservative therapy. And whether this is a home exercise program, formal physical therapy, chiropractic care, non-narcotic anti-inflammatory pain medications, or steroid injections, over 90% of the patients that come to see me are able to be treated with conservative care. Unfortunately, I do see a lot of patients that come to see me that have been told that they need spine surgery when they really don't. For example, I have a patient who flew in to see me from out of town. This patient was actually on the surgery schedule to undergo a procedure. After seeing this patient, we were able to treat this patient with some conservative care, including therapy, anti-inflammatory pain medications, and injections, which she had not had. Over 90% of her pain had gotten better over the last two months with this conservative route. Depending on the surgeon's preferences, their training, as well as their expertise level, there are certain procedures that may not be offered to you if the surgeon is not comfortable with these procedures. For example, artificial disc replacements. These are alternatives to fusion procedures. And even though there's a vast array of publications and literature that supports its use, most patients are not offered these procedures because their surgeon is either not comfortable with artificial disc replacements or they are not trained in them. So if you are a candidate for a artificial disc replacement and your surgeon is not comfortable or they're not trained in artificial disc replacements, I would strongly suggest coming into my office for a second opinion. I look forward to getting you back to life.